hi guys welcome to this new video on git so in this video i will show you how you can use configure and manage multiple git accounts in your system i'm using mac but the same process you can follow in your linux or windows as well so you might be using github bitbucket gitlab so this process you can work with all these git providers so currently I have opened up this terminal. I will show you step by step that how we can create different SSH keys and add those SSH keys in multiple Git accounts. So I'll be using my two accounts of the GitHub and I will show you the process. Before moving forward, I would request you guys to subscribe my channel and like this video. So in this terminal, first of all, I need to see if there is any SSH key already created in my system or not. So I'll write ls. This is to list down all the content within the directory. In Windows, you might want to use dir. Okay, so I will write tilde forward slash dot ssh. This is the path in my Mac. I hope that the same path will be in the Linux, but you might have different path in Windows. Okay, so I'll hit enter. So it is showing me all the SSH keys generated one with the name this and other one is this. So I will not be touching these two. Uh, I will be creating new ones. If you don't see any of these, you can follow the same step which I'm just writing over here. So to create a new SSH key, I will write SSH hyphen keygen space hyphen t and i need to give it a code it is not required but uh, it's a good practice for the security and the complexity of the ssh key that you generate so i will write two double five one nine okay and then after that hyphen capital c and i will be giving it an email id for one of my account whether it is on the github gitlab bitbucket or any other git provider so i will write this account for my github and after that i need to give the name of the file you can see the name of my files previously is id underscore rsa and the id underscore uh, personal one so i will give uh, not off i need to write hyphen f actually okay and then i need to write that character forward slash dot ssh I'm inside my SSH folder and after that here I will be giving it a new file name. So I'll write id underscore rsa underscore one. Okay. So I'll hit enter. So it is actually generating a new public SSH key. So it's asking me to enter the passphrase. You can give the password, but I will not be giving any password. So I'll simply hit enter. I'll hit enter again. Okay, so new SSH key have been generated. Now I'm going to press up arrow in my keyboard to run this command again and see that how many SSH keys are there. So this is the new SSH key that I just created. All right. So this one SSH key will I will be using in one of my GitHub account. Let's navigate and click on the above arrow and I will be creating a new SSH key. And for this, I will be changing the name, uh, the email actually of my second GitHub account. It can be on GitLab or Bitbucket and I'll be changing its name. I'll hit enter and now I'll hit enter enter so two SSH key have been generated let's see what we have here so currently we have four SSH keys this one with the one that I have uh, generated another one with the underscore two now we need to add both of these SSH key into SSH authentication agent in my system so I will be writing SSH hyphen add and after this I need to give the same path of the new SSH key name which I have generated so this character forward slash dot SSH forward slash ID underscore RSA underscore one hit enter so this identity have been added and next I'm going to add the second name I'm going to change its name, hit enter. All right. So both of these uh, have been added. You can see that it has detected the email ID that I used to create these SSH keys. Now I need to see what the content inside it. I can actually go to this directory and open up these files separately in the notepad and see the content, but we are using terminal. So in the terminal, I need to write cat this sign forward slash dot SSH forward slash and then I need to give the name underscore RSA underscore one I will hit enter okay so this is the SSH key in this uh, file but 
I need to actually print this dot pub file and that content I will be adding and using in my accounts on GitHub. Okay, so I will press up arrow dot pub. I'll hit enter. So this is the short uh, SSH key that is generated. And this is short because of that uh, this code hyphen T code that I added over here. Okay, so now let's print out the second one as well. So now I need to copy both of these SSH keys and add it in my GitHub accounts. Make sure you match these email IDs with the accounts you use to create your GitHub account. So first one is this email ID of me. So I'll just copy pasting from here. Make sure you start off with SSH and end with this email ID. So I'll just copy. Let's go to the settings of my GitHub account. And in the settings, I'll click on the SSH and here one of the keys already added, but I can add any number of keys as I want. So I'll click on new SSH key. Uh, I will paste the SSH key over here, which I have copied and here I can write any name to it. So let's say test one. Okay. We don't need to change the key type from here. Add SSH key. So here I actually need to provide the authentication code because I have enabled two factor authentication. So I have authorized and you can see that new SSH key have been added over here. Now I'm going to copy the other one, go to the settings and we can follow the same steps that we just followed SSH, add new SSH key, paste it over here. And I'm going to write test two. add SSH key. So here this SSH key have been added. So in both of my GitHub accounts, I have pasted both of the SSH keys, which I have generated. Now I'll be creating repositories in both of my github accounts i will be cloning both repositories i'll be pulling the changes and i'll be pushing the new changes in my github repositories so i'm creating the first repository in my first accounts let's name it test one and we can make it private as well but let's keep it public we can add a readme file as well so let's create this repository let's create repository in my other account so test two and uh, let's keep it public add a readme file and the create repository so over both of repository have been created on different accounts so from my first account i can click on this drop down which has written the code and i can copy this ssh url i can copy it from here and let's go to the vs code which i have opened and in this vs code let's try to add git clone and paste that url I'll hit enter so you can see that I'm able to clone that repository and this has been cloned over here along with the readme file which was generated. Now let's try to copy the other account from this drop down. Go to SSH, click on this icon, it has been copied. In my terminal, I'm going to write git clone paste hit enter. So the second repository have been added over here as well. So usually we open up different projects on different instance of VS code, but I've opened it directly over here, but that's fine. So I've opened up the different terminal for both of these projects. So here, first of all, let's go inside test one in the first terminal and let's go inside test two in the second terminal. First of all, I need to verify if the origin of that repository is successfully added by writing the git remote hyphen V. So this is the origin have been added and you can see that this is the username of that uh, account uh, from where I have cloned this repository. Let me do it on the second repository. So git remote hyphen V. So this is the username of my second git account. Okay. So let's try to add another file inside it so I'm going to write the script.js const a equals to two. This is just for testing. I'm going to create a new file in my second project. So script.js. Okay. So here const b equals to three. So let's save both of these files. So here in the terminal, if I write the git status, we will see that there is a new changes added in my project. So first of all, in the test one, in my first git repository, I'm going to first add it over here. And before committing it, usually what we do is we add the name and email ID in our global config 
command okay but i want to have a different username and different email id for my different repositories because these belongs to my different git account so for that i'm going to first add the git config i will not be adding global over here global is used to uh, globally add the name and email id that will work for all the repositories okay so i will be adding uh, git config user dot name and i'm going to add umair jamil okay i'll hit enter so this has been added git config user dot email so here i will be writing the first account email id of mine oh, okay the email id is different that's why i am adding the name and email id although my global name and email id was already added in my account okay i'll hit enter so i have set the name and email on my second account as well now let's push the code so in the first terminal let me clear this terminal so in the first terminal i'm first going to check the status yes it's green because i've already added all the files by running the git add commands i'm assuming that you are already aware of all the git commands like git add commit pull push fetch merging this tutorial is for how we can manage multiple git accounts so i'll be committing my unchanged files so initial commit and i'm going to verify it by running git status and now let's try to check which branch i'm at so i'm at the main branch so let's push git push origin main so i'll hit enter so it's going to push my code to that repository let's see to our repository in my browser so here i'm just going to refresh and it should show the script.js file and it's showing the time so our first repository on my one account of github have been pushed so let's push our second project in our second github account which is named as test2 which is the name of repository i've opened up a single terminal for this so this is the file script.js in the test2 let me add another variable d is equals to 4 okay so let's save it now in the terminal i'm going to first check the status and yes so first i will be adding it then i will be committing it with any message so after this i will simply push to the main branch and uh, before that you can also verify the branch uh, is added when we cloned our project so this is the main branch so git push origin main hit enter so i hope it's going to push the changes yes it has pushed now let's verify the repository on the account okay so it has been updated with the time now so i hope that you have got an idea how we can manage use and configure multiple github accounts it can be gitlab it can be bitbucket and this is how you can configure add ssh keys in your multiple github accounts i hope that you have got an idea do subscribe my channel like this video thank you so much for watching guys